Hi friends, in this video we are discussing the problem on special functions. Okay, you see the given problem is prove that integral 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 cos ax dx is equal to gamma m by a to the power of m into cos of m pi by 2. And also we have to prove integral 0 to infinite x power m minus 1 sin ax dx is equal to gamma n by a to the power of m sin m pi by 2. Okay, to solve this problem means we have to prove this one. Okay, to prove this one once you observe the LHS part in both the problems that is integral 0 to infinite integral 0 to infinite x power m minus 1 cos ax is there here. Here what I have x power m minus 1 is as it is but the difference is here sin ax. And what about the RHS part? Gamma m by a to the power of m. Gamma m by a to the power of m. Both are same. But here you have cos of m pi by 2. Here you have sin of m pi by 2. So, you observe LHS. The difference is in place of sin, you have a cosine. In place of a cosine, here you have a sin. That is the difference. But friends, we have a gamma function applications. Okay. And you observe this problem is gamma m by a to the power of m. So, directly you can say it is application of gamma function and it is a transformation. Which transformation means already I know. The transformation we have a second transformation. What is the second transformation we have? That is using integral from 0 to infinite. 0 to infinite e to the power of minus kx into x to the power of m minus 1 x to the power of m minus 1 dx is equal to gamma m by k to the power of m. This is the second transformation. Okay, second transformation of the gamma function. How it is came? Means from the gamma function only. It is the application of gamma function. What is the gamma function formula we have? Gamma m is equal to integral 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 into e to the power of minus x dx. Okay, this is the gamma function we have. If we replace the x is equal to kt in the gamma function then uh, we will have this equation okay let us consider this is equation number okay gamma function if you are substituted then you will get this one this proof also i have done and uh, you can watch in my playlist okay now you see now what we required actually from this we require to get these two how you can get actually you have to observe both lhs part integral 0 to infinite. Here also you have integral 0 to infinite. x power m minus 1. Yes, x power m minus 1. But here you have exponential function. Here you have sine. Here cosine is there. So is there any relation between sine and cosine? Yes. What is that here? We have sine and cosine. e power i x. e power i x is equal to cis theta. That is cos x plus i sin x you have. Yes or no? Cos x plus i sin x you have. Left side you have x term. What about the right side you have? Cos m pi by 2 sin m pi by 2. So here you required angles. But here you required only x terms. That you remember. Because while solving we required the angle. And uh, it is. Uh, if k is real then we are getting like this. If k is a complex number then what will happen you see. If k is a complex number e power i x I required. So I require the complex number. So what I am doing means put. K is equal to a plus ib. Friends you see now I treated k is a complex number. Okay. This a plus ib. Now e power minus kx will become e to the power of minus of a plus ibx. a plus ib times of x. This is equal to e to the power of minus ax plus into minus. Plus into minus you will have minus ibx minus ibx. So, this is equal to e to the power of minus ax into e to the power of minus ibx. You can write yes or no? e power a plus b is e power a into e power b. Okay. Now, this is equal to e power minus ax. From the cis theta, what you can write e power ibx as? Yes. Cos, uh, cos bx minus i sin bx you can write. Yes or no? Cos bx minus i sin bx from the demos theorem we are writing this okay now what about the rhs part rhs part we have a gamma m by k to the power of m what is the k a plus ib so a plus ib whole to the power of m you will have 
but uh, here you see right side part what I have actually angle C is there so we have to change this K into polar form for that you see actually what you consider K is equal to A plus IB so you put A is equal to R cos theta changing into polar coordinate this one or not plus I into B means R sin theta B means R sin theta then if you take an R is a common this is cos theta plus I sin theta from the cos theta plus I sin theta what you can add actually e to the power of I theta yes or no e to the power of I theta that you have to remember moreover what is R here R is modulus of nothing but your distance is here a square plus b square because to solve this one to prove this one we use r value and the k value and this value okay now you see how i am doing next you see here i am substituting these values in the equation number one then integral zero to infinite e to the uh, first x power m minus 1 is x power m minus 1 e power minus kx what I can add actually e power minus ax into cos bx minus i sin bx is it clear this is the left side what is into dx is there yes we need to write dx also into dx this is equal to gamma m is gamma m as it is divided by k to the power of m what is k actually a plus ib a plus ib how you can written here r e power i theta why we are taking r e power i theta means here friends you see we have a we have a right side in the proof you see in the problem right side we have a angles due to that reason due to that reason i am taking r e power i theta is it clear otherwise you can take only a plus ib it's not an issue okay now You see, this is k power m. k is equal to r e power i theta. So, r e to the power of i theta whole to the power of m. This is equal to gamma m upon r to the power of m e to the power of i m theta. e to the power of i m theta. So, e power i m theta is it is in the denominator. So, you can write in the numerator. Yes or no? If you written in the numerator, then you will have gamma m by r power n. What is r actually? Under root of a square plus b square. So, can I write this as a square plus b square. Square root is nothing but power 1 by 2. Already r power what have? m. So, m by 2. Remember, denominator power m by 2 into this denominator goes to numerator means you will have e to the power of i m theta e to the power of i m theta okay now you see this is equal to gamma m by a square plus b square whole to the power of m by 2 into what is e power i m theta you can write cis theta that is cos m theta minus i sin m theta this is which value this one i will write here which is implies integral 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 into e power minus ax into cos bx minus i sin bx into dx this is the value of this one now you observe friends in the given problem what i have actually you see here you have x power m minus 1 e power minus ax cos bx sin bx but in the problem what have you see in the problem just x power m minus 1 cos ax only you don't have an exponential term so you have to remove the exponential term and moreover right side you have a cos m pi by 2 not m theta m pi by 2 you have in the problem so you have to go for substitution method what you need to substitute here you see exponential term i don't want here in place of x i want here uh, m theta i have a pi by 2 so you see what you are getting now you see now i am substituting 
here a is equal to 0. If I put a is 0, what will happen means e power minus ax will be 1. 1 into this bracket is same only. Yes or no? Now, right side you have a theta. So, put theta is equal to pi by 2. If you put theta is equal to pi by 2, why we have to substitute pi by 2 means already in the problem they are given m pi by 2. So, I am taking theta is equal to pi by 2. If I put theta is pi by 2, then cos m theta, what will happen you see? Cos m pi by 2. What about the sin m theta? Sin m theta will be sin m pi by 2. Next, a square plus b square whole power m by 2 you see? a square plus b square power m by 2 what will happen? Actually what you consider a? a is 0. So 0 plus b square. So 0 plus b square means b square power 1 by 2 and uh, you have a square. So square and this root getting cancelled then you will have b to the power of m. Is it clear for you? Now you see now I am substituting these all values in the above equation then we will have integral 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 e power 0 is what okay i'll write this one also for you e power minus 0 into x is nothing but what e power 0 is 1 that's it e power minus 0 is also 1 only so x power m minus 1 into cos bx minus i sin bx into dx okay this is equal to gamma m by what is the denominator you have if a square plus b square power m by 2 if i substituted a is 0 that is b to the power of m so write down here b to the power of m into cos m theta what will happen if i substituted theta is equal to pi by 2 you see friends here we are putting a is equal to 0 and theta is equal to pi by 2 these are very very important friends okay now here we have m theta will become m pi by 2. So, m pi by 2 minus i sin m pi by 2. So, your place is not there. I am writing a m pi by 2. Right. Is it clear now? Now, you see friends, just to compare on both sides, which one you have to compare? Real part and imagined part you compare on both sides. Okay. Comparing real and imaginary real and imaginary that is enough so what you will have integral 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 into cos bx is equal to right side so you see here you see real part is x power m minus 1 is a common cos bx is real part i sin bx will you take no because it is a imaginary part next gamma m by b to the power of m is a real part only here Okay, into cos m pi by 2, right? Cos m pi by 2. Next, what about the i sin m pi by 2? Will you write? No, because it is i is there. i is there, so imagine part. So, if you are compared the real part, then you have integral 0 to infinite x power m minus 1 cos bx is gamma m by b power m sin of m pi by 2. Sin of m pi by 2 is here. Okay, is it clear for everyone? You see, this is the given problem or not? I will verify. You check it here. You see, given problem is what they are given. Here the problem is we have integral 0 to infinite x power m minus 1 cos ax is gamma m by a power m into cos m pi by 2. Just in place of a, you have a b. That's it. Okay. So, our problem is correct or not? Yes or no? Right. Next. Another one. Already we are done it real part. Now you compare the imaginary part. What will happen if you compare the imaginary part? Here you see x4 m minus 1 is a common for both the real and imaginary part. So if you compare the imaginary part you will have integral 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 into this is minus is there friends. So you write a minus. Minus I am writing outside sin bx is equal to bx here dx is there sorry here also i forgot here also uh, i am not written okay dx is equal to here what i have gamma m by b to the power of m this is a common for both real and imaginary part that is why we are written next this is the real part don't write it what about this yes you have a negative sign so write negative sin m pi by 2 okay now what you can do just 
you can cancel your both side negative term that is minus minus hence what you required the required property you got it not you see what you are having integral from 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 into sin px is equal to gamma m by b to the power of m into sin of m pi by 2 that's it so what we can say this one or that we have to prove hence proved is it clear for everyone okay i will give hint for you how to solve this problem you see friends first uh, the given problem what we have to do means some hints i am giving you see first this is gamma m by b power n is there so you have to go for beta of a gamma function transformation to that formula must and should you have to know if you don't know that formula then you cannot do what is the formula we have means friends you see what is the formula you have means integral 0 to infinite x to the power of x to the power of m minus 1 into e to the power of minus kx dx is equal to gamma m by k to the power of m gamma m by k to the power of m so first you have to consider this next to what you have to do means k is equal to a plus iv we have to introduce a complex number after that this complex number it is in a cartesian form changing into polar coordinate then you will have r cos theta plus i into r sin theta so here i am substituting a is equal to r cos theta b is equal to r sin theta so you can take r is a common then you will have e to the power of i theta and here r is a square root of a square plus b square so if you have substituted these values in the equation 1 then you will get the solution but where uh, where here e power i a x is there use the cis theta formula right side also you have to use the cis theta formula finally we have to put a is equal to 0 because e power a x is there that is why a is 0 e power minus a x is there na? next here you have to substitute theta is equal to pi by 2 to get the required solution okay thank you friends thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye